just like seven years ago. Good God. Um, it's called Beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful is what she said to herself every day as she looked in the mirror. The same mirror that held the reflection of the girl with the water-filled eyes and the tear-stained face as she tried to erase the memories of the last painful day. The last painful day that she cut into her skin, ignoring the voice within, screaming for help. Help that no one cared to give, and because they didn't care, she didn't care to live. They didn't care. They didn't care until they found her on the ground and pulled her own blood, wondering what it was that caused her to do this. But they didn't know. They weren't there. They weren't there to catch the stares that everyone gave her, because her skin was too fair, her hair was too long, and she was too this, and she was too that, and she couldn't possibly be black. But how did she get ass like that? <laughs> it was the constant debate that went on every day. But there's only so much one can take. I mean, sticks and stones will break your bones, but words are here to stay. The physical pain mends, but the verbal wounds never really go away. And yes, Dr. Stone so said it was on her head, she was imagining things. It couldn't really be as bad as she was making it seem. But he didn't know. He wasn't there. I was there. Through it all, I was there. Like an angel, I sent her silent prayers. I sat, watched her crumble. I prayed she didn't fall, and if she did, I would be there to catch her. But I didn't get there in time. After she called, I raced to her side, but I didn't see her fall. She was already dead, and I wasn't there. Falling into a world of despair from seeing her lying there, watching her leave me, I knew my friend needed me, but all I could do was hold her and tell her she was beautiful. Thank you.